Hi, Scott with FDJtool.com. I want to give you a preview of the Fordham BL bench lathe. It looks like a small polishing motor, and well, it is a small polishing motor, but really, it's a whole lot more. It's only five and an eighth inches tall, and when you add spindles onto the side, it's only 13 inches wide. What does that mean? It means it fits on your work table, your bench top, pretty much anywhere. And it's lightweight, so it's great for traveling. Turn it on. You're going to find that it's powered by a permanent magnet motor that's going to deliver 1 6 horsepower very smoothly and very quietly. It's got a sealed uh, dust proof housing. It's got permanently lubricated ball bearings. And this dial control on the front here allows you to select speeds from 500 all the way up to 7,000 RPMs. And there's even a green indicator light in the front here to let you know that the motor's running. Got suction cup feet on the bottom for stability, but if you want extra security, there are four mounting holes in the bottom of the cast iron base that allows you to drill through and secure it directly to the work surface. It does come with some accessories too. It comes with a pair of tapered spindles. You get one stamped with an R for the right hand side of the motor as you're looking at it, and one with an L for the left hand side. And they're very easy to put on. Simply loosen the set screws that are on the spindle, and you're gonna put it onto the 5 16 inch shaft, and you're gonna look for that flat spot on the shaft, and that's what you're gonna line up the set screws with, and then tighten them down. Just like that. Now you're ready to use your standard buffs, brushes, and even felt buffs. Simply turn on the motor, look for that hole in your buff, and put it on the end, and the threads of the spindle are going to pull that buff right up onto the spindle and hold it nice, nicely and securely in place. Remember, put the right on the right and the left on the left because if you mix them up, you might end up spinning your buff right off your spindle. Now to take it off, when you're done, just turn off your motor, grip the spindle, and unscrew it. And it comes right off. And there are a lot more accessories you can get for your bench lathe too. Let's say you want to use 3M radial discs when polishing. Well, you can get yourself a plastic hub that'll fit right onto the tapered spindle and do some polishing. You want to add a grinding wheel or a rubberized wheel, take off that spindle and add yourself a wheel adapter. And you can use these wheels up to three inches in diameter. How about some mounted abrasives or brushes from your flex shaft? Well, you can get yourself a chuck adapter. It holds those shafts right in place and you can put that on in place of the spindle on your motor too. Why, you can even use your flex shaft handpiece with the bench lathe by using this FlexAid flex shaft adapter. Plug it right onto the shaft and you're ready to go. You can even get backsplashes and collection hoods in order to cut down on the dust and debris that might fly around your workshop while you're polishing. And that's the BL Bench Lathe in a nutshell. It is small, it's powerful, and it's versatile. You can get it and all these great accessories on our website, fdjtool.com. And despite how good these suction cups are, that is no way to polish.